Hey everyone, today I will show you how you can add menus in WordPress. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can create this website from scratch. And now that we have created this website, I'm going to show you how you can basically add items to your menu, how to remove items, how to, how to customize it and change it the way you like. So without further ado, let's get started. So click on customize. And from this left menu, click on menus. And here click on this top navigation. So you can see all the items that we have here matches the items that we have at the top menu. So in case we would like to change any items from the top menu, let's say, for example, we want to remove programs, scroll down and remove it. And as you can see, programs is also removed from the top menu. If you're happy with this menu and you would like to only maybe change the labels of any of these items, let's say, for example, we want to change the contact to contact us. Uh, simply come here and type in contact us. Okay. And you can see the contact is changed to contact us. Now click on publish. And all our changes is basically saved. If you would like to get rid of this menu completely and create your own menu, simply scroll down and click on this delete menu. Okay. Now the menu is basically not deleted. And the reason you can see all these uh, items is because the menu is not disabled. Okay. But as soon as you go ahead and create a new menu, okay. And let me just call it my main menu. And let me put it at the primary menu at the top. You can, you can select the footer one if you want. I go with the primary menu and click next. You can see the, the, the previous menu is basically disappeared and we have a new menu with no items in it. Now that we have created our menu, it's time to add items to it. So go ahead and click on this add items and you can see you have, you have a couple of options here. Okay. These are basically all the pages that you have on your website. Okay. So you can see the same options you're here. Let's go back to our dashboard and click on pages. And these are the exact same pages that you can see here. Okay. So if you would like to add these pages to your menu, simply click here, say blog programs and contact. So all these items are added to the top menu. Now, if you would like to change the order of this menu, let's say you want to put the block here, simply just drag it and drop it here. And you can see the order of the menu items is basically changed. In case you would like to add a new item for a page that doesn't exist on your website, you can add a new page through this menu item. So you can go ahead and click on this add items. And in this add new page, uh, let me just call it projects. Okay. Add and then publish it. Now let's go back to the pages, refresh the page. The project is added here. It would be a blank page, but you can go ahead and click on this or edit and add content to it. Now that we know how to create a menu, let's go ahead and create a drop down menu. So let's go back to the menus tab and here select the item that you want and put it below another item. So you can see the contact is changed to a drop down menu. The same way you can get any item that you want and get it to a drop down menu. Now we know how to create menus from the pages on your website. If you would like to create menus from the posts, simply click on add items and then click on posts. I only have one post. Okay. But I can go ahead and click on it. And you can see that post is added to the menu. If we go to the dashboard and click on posts, you can see that the post that we have here is hello world 
and we have only one post in our post section. And in case you would like to add a menu and link it to another page on your other website or to other external website, simply click on add items and then click on custom links. Okay. Let's say you want to link it to a CNN news, right? Let's say CNN and then just type in HTTP CNN.com. Okay. Add to menu and let's go back and you can see the CNN is basically added to your menus. Let's click on publish. And when you click on CNN, it will open up the CNN website for you. And this is what's happening in the world. <laughs> okay, let's go back to our website. Another useful menu item that you probably need for your website is going to be, let's go click on add items, is categories. Okay, so once you create categories for your posts and pages, uh, you can see those categories here. And then you can create items based on the categories that you have and see it in your menu. So let's right now I have uncategorized. Let me just add it. And you can see I can see all the posts that are uncategorized by clicking this button. And this is how to create menu in WordPress from pages, posts, custom link and categories. And also, if you want to know how I created this website, make sure to check out the next video and the next video that's coming up. Uh, hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and tap that little bell. See you in the next one.